Hi, I'm Craig Zuckerman and this is Lori Clark and we are going to show you four exercises that can be done anywhere that will stabilize the lower part of your body and this will prevent knee injuries, ankle injuries, hip injuries, even low back injuries such as herniations. You ready? Alright, the first one is a simple exercise known as ankle circles. Now, you can do this laying in bed, sitting in a chair, or standing up. It's nice when you're standing up because she has to balance while she does it. And that's part of the whole game here, keeping our balance. That's what we're working on. She's going to go in circular motions to one direction, anywhere from 5 to 10, 15 reps, and then back the other direction. Feels good, doesn't it? Making mm -hmm. some pots and cracks in there, that's a good thing. Don't worry about it. After your ankle circles, the next exercise is toe curls and flexes. Start parallel with the feet and you are going to lift the heels up. Now, when you do this, it is important that you stay over to the central part of the foot. You don't want to roll out or roll in, as that can be not so great on the ankle. We want to be right over the foot with each repetition. If balance is a difficult thing, now Laura's a dancer, so it's easy for her to keep her balance. But even so, it may be nice to hold onto a stick, a wall, something that helps you with your balance during this exercise if you are rolling out. Otherwise, challenge it. Go for this. After anywhere from 5 to 10 reps of that, you're going to turn out with your heels together and do lifts here. Now we're working the outer portion of the calf muscle, again staying right over the foot so we're not rolling in and rolling out on the foot. We knock out 5 to 10 of these. It's also good during this exercise to have some glute tension. Tighten your tush, pull up in your abs. Use this to help stabilize your core while you're doing all of these exercises. Next, you're going to turn in. So your pigeon toe, as they would say, toes in, and same thing. This will now work the outer calf muscles a little bit more. Watching the roll, you're not rolling out, you're still keeping right up over the foot, using the glute tension, stomach tension to keep balance, or hold on to something. <laughs> Doing good. Next, and finally, we stretch out the calves through the exercise, and we work the front of the calf, or the, well, front of the shin, we should say, muscle here. We flex the feet. Now, we can do both feet at the same time, or you can just do one at a time. You should feel a stretch in the calf and a work in the front. That's great, yeah, showing it from the side. Straight knee, flexing the foot, working the shin, stretching the calf, alternating feet or doing both feet. Now, if you do both feet though, you gotta watch out that you're not piking at the hips and dropping back with your tush because then you're not really stretching, you're just leaning backwards, and that's not what I want. Also want to maybe be on a rug or something soft, a cushion under your heel, so you're not compressing that heel into the floor. And, you know, especially if you have bone spurs or something like that, it's not gonna feel good. Excellent, moving on, but still targeting the foot and ankle, are toe curls and toe flexes. Now the toe curl, or also known as a towel curl, because you can put a towel on the ground and curl it up with your toes to help strengthen the toes, it strengthens the metatarsal arch, the muscles in your arch. This is great if you have plantar fasciitis, pain in your arch, also helps with bunions, because activating that inner muscle helps align the big toes. So that's a great exercise for that too. But it helps our foot have strength, so when it touches, we don't roll in, and we don't hurt the knee and drop the hip when we're walking. So it's a great thing for that. Again, you're doing anywhere from 10 to 20 of these. You can do them at your desk. You can do them in your board meeting underneath the table. Nobody will know. And it's a great way to strengthen your foot and arch muscles. Excellent. You also want to make sure that you're flexing with it. So not only do you curl, but then you flex and fan out the toes. You curl and flex. We work the muscles underneath the foot and on top. Very important to work both sides of the musculature. Excellent. This will help stabilize your ankle and this will prevent injuries in the ankle, knee, low back, and it's just a wonderful way to stabilize the lower half of your body, preventing injury and pain, which is always a good thing. I'm Craig Zuckerman with Lori Clark, helping you to feel better, look better, and perform better. If you liked that video and would like to see more like it, then subscribe to our channel. That way you'll get notifications every time we put out a new video. If you enjoyed the video, give us a big thumbs up below, or hey, let me know what you'd like to see. Put a comment below, ask a question, I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching.